The LEGO WeDo system consists of a two-port hub, a medium power functions motor, a motion sensor, and a tilt sensor. I use journal control to monitor the system log. When I plug in the WeDo hub, a new LEGO sensor gets registered, as well as two new LEGO ports. When I plug in the WeDo tilt sensor, yet another sensor is registered. Let's look at the SIS class LEGO sensor directory. Sensor 1 is our tilt sensor. We can make an environment variable to reduce the amount of typing we have to do. We can look at the attributes of the sensor. We can look at all of the possible modes. We can look at the current mode. We can even look at the sensor values in real time. Forward, reverse, left, and right, and back to normal. We can plug in a motor. It gets registered as a DC motor class device. Let's look at the SIS class DC motor directory. There's motor zero. We can look at its attributes. We can use an environment variable to reduce the amount of typing when we refer to motor zero. If we echo 40 to the duty cycle set point for the motor, nothing happens until we echo run to the motor's command attribute. We can change the speed to 100% and reduce it to 60% while the motor is running. If we echo brake to the motor's command attribute, the motor stops immediately. We can set the duty cycle set point to minus 60, which makes the motor run in the reverse direction. This time, let's have the motor coast to a stop. That's all for now. Next time we'll teach you how to use the LEGO Power Functions light brick and the Power Functions servo motor with the WeDo attached to an EV3 running EV3 dev.